you know, I'll give it that this is not one of the worst trailers I've ever seen. But given what this movie is about, this really hurts. <laughs> Hey, back again. So, just check, um, check recording. So, yeah, so Gabby, we've been doing a lot of star related things lately. We just yes. did the Star Wars, <laughs> um, The Last Jedi trailer reaction. And this, um, hopefully Friday. You see this? Star and Marco? Yeah. Star vs. The Force of Evil, which. Yeah, look forward to that. Yeah, look, look, look forward to that. I'm not even kidding. So, hold on, let me just, um... It's coming. It's coming, yes. I'm just adjusting some settings here to make me look a little more, um... <laughs> level. But, okay, so, yeah, lots of stars. Um, this star we have, um, um tonight, <laughs> this not star, exactly... <laughs> Yeah, it's literally time? called the star. Like, not wow. getting the best um, reputation as far as because um, <laughs> I didn't like you know I haven't seen the trailer yet. Been trying to avoid it, but from I've what I'm hearing, I've heard of this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> but from what I'm hearing, it. some people are saying, "Oh, it looks like a direct to um, TV movie," but no, it's in theaters. And who made it? Sony Pictures Animation, the wonderful oh. company that also made the Emoji Movie, which oh, I gotta no. be honest, I did not expect like the Emoji oh, Movie no. to get such a backlash. Like I heard, like people are making it out like it's another like Food Fight or another Norm in the North, and I'm just like, you have to try to fail. Like I haven't seen either, like, but I've seen reviews and it looks. They, they said that not even I I don't remember who says, but I was watching a review and and they were even like, yeah, not even the kids were interested. Like you know, they were just sitting there blankly, like not doing mm -hmm. anything. Like yeah, oh, yeah, no, yeah. How bad does it have to be for mm -hmm. that to happen? If it's so angry that like Chris Stuckman, you know, the YouTuber, starts a video like this. And says it sucks. <laughs> then it's just like this movie made him mad. But oh, yeah, as people, cool. um, I haven't seen the emoji movie. Did you? Yeah. You know I we can't speak to. for it. No, I, I, don't, I don't want, want to see it either. It came out on my birthday. Damn. I was like, oh cool, a movie's coming out on my birthday. What is? Oh god, it's the emoji movie. Mm -hmm. Thank God you did not go see that on your birthday. But no, no. yeah, um, I avoided it. I avoided it purposefully. Mm -hmm. But like, but <laughs> like, having not seen the Emoji movie, my history with Sony Pictures Animation isn't that big. But well, mainly because they don't exactly have the best reputation. Like my dad, like you know, growing up, I guess you could call me kind of a normie, where I was just like, hey, if it looks funny, I'll watch it. But like, my dad always had that sort of like you know artistic, you know mindset you know if there was like a movie with like poop jokes he just you know automatically dismiss yeah. it so i'm guessing that's why i didn't get to see a lot of sony pictures movies you know as a um, kid i did see cloudy of a chance of meatballs and that was i really liked that one i mean that one was fun that mm -hmm. one was fun what exactly is your history with um the sony pictures animation uh, i'm going to be honest i probably can't even recognize which ones were made by Sony. <laughs> Hotel Transylvania. Uh, okay, I went to go watch that one, but that was that was like it's talking more recently. Um, as far as childhood, um, I grew up in a household where media was just kind of like meh. You know, it's like yeah, you got to make sure that the kids aren't watching what they're not supposed to, but other than that, it doesn't really matter. Con you know, uh, quality content. Just like, eh, it's, it's a movie. You just do it for fun. Just watch it. Yeah, I mean, on one hand, because, like, let me just, like, name some of them. So, they're the, they made, like, Open Season, Surf's Up, uh, Art for Christmas, The Pirates, Adventure of Sciences, and The Smurfs. 
Okay. I've I've seen the Smurfs. I've seen oh uh I remember watching Surf Surfs up. That's the one is that the one with the surfing penguins? Yes. <laughs> That guy, I, I didn't even intend on watching that. It's like, my parents used to bring movies whenever we went on trips. Mm-hmm. Because uh, we have, like, cousins that kind of, like, lend us movies and stuff. And, uh, and I was just like, oh, this is in the pack this time. Okay, I'll pop it in. And that's also how I watched, um, oh, I don't remember. What was the other one you mentioned first? Open Season. Yeah, I feel like it was either on a DVD, like, that we just kind of happened to get a hold of randomly, or, or like, flipping through the channel on TV. Mm-hmm. Never, never me going out of my way and saying, you know what? I want to go, and I'm going to want to go watch this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was just kind of me being like, eh, I don't have anything to watch. Oh, look, that's there. Okay, I'll watch it. And it was in that time where I was like in that mentality. I was like, oh my gosh, look guys, it's a moving picture. <laughs> cool. Yeah, understandable. You know, we were at that age when we were kids, and then when we were adults, we find out if what we like was actually good and or if it was trash. But do you, from what you can recall, was open season good? Because I heard it's kind of meh. See, the thing is. I've always been easily amused. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, KO. So, like, I actually really like Okay, KO. I know it's not the best, mm-hmm. but I, I like it too. I think it. it's decent, but yeah. But I legitimately will sit down and be like, "Oh, can we watch every single episode of Okay, KO because it's fun." Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, mean, I watched all the flapjack. <laughs> mm, yeah, I'm thinking of yeah, I'm thinking of doing a video on like OKKO OK at some point. But uh, yay! yeah, yay! Mm-hmm. But, but anyway, yeah, no but going watched, into that's, that's like that's my mentality like the whole time, and I was like probably up till I was like maybe fourteen. Up till I was like fourteen, I was just like yeah, it looks so cool, it looks so cool, mm-hmm. so much. But other than that, I'm going to say from what I can remember, it really was very mediocre. Nothing really special about open it. Open season? Yeah, open season. Uh, the Smurfs? Oh, God, the Smurfs. <laughs> I just watched it because I used to watch the Smurfs on Boomerang. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, cool, the Smurfs, but it's just, it's, it's, it's meh. You get what you expect. It's like it's like Alvin and the Chipmunks, though. I find it funny how if you watch the Nostalgia Critic review of the Smurfs, um, Andre the Black Nerd says like he thinks that the Smurfs came about the way it did because Sony saw what Fox was doing with Alvin and the Chipmunks, and they were like, "Hey, we could do that. Just make them blue." <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. Obvious, honestly, like that's the whole vibe I got watching movies. Hotel Transylvania. Now that I legitimately enjoyed. I remember my mom took me and my brother to the theater randomly, and we're like, "Oh, we're gonna watch!" So it's like out of the blue, she's like, "Let's go to the movies, guys!" And we saw Hotel Transylvania was on. Oh my gosh, was I so happy we went to go see that? Mm-hmm. It was. It was legitimately extremely. The interesting thing about Hotel Transylvania is it's one of those movies where it's like the critics don't like it that much, but audiences love it. Like, I even know, like, YouTube personalities that say Hotel Transylvania is funny. Not having the strongest story, but it was still very entertaining. Yeah, it's it's not, like, the best written thing. You know, you're not going to, like go deep into analyzing what's going on and be like, oh my gosh, mm-hmm. this means that and that. But it's definitely heartfelt. Right. And and, and it, it shows. It shows. I mean, I, honestly, I'm going to say that's something that not a lot of people are jumping, the, you know, jumping on as far as with Adam Sandler. Because he's really in touch with that side of narrative and acting. Mm-hmm. But... Eh, just, eh, it's more 
He needs to work with the right people to get him in the right place to do the right thing. I mean, that's one of the things I really enjoyed about his character in Hotel Transylvania. It's just like, he, 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 he was given a character and he just brought out the heart in him, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like, it wasn't him just being like, oh man, I'm very, very emotional. I gotta be very emotional in this film. I'm writing. Mm -hmm. It's like no, no. He legit got a really good character. He gave it, he gave it heart, and it came through extremely well. You know, it's just like yes, more of this, please. Mm -hmm. But did you see and the sequel? To... Yes, I thought it was adorable. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it's like oh my gosh, this is like high to like you know this is the you know this is awesome. Like go go watch it. Mm -hmm. And I greatly enjoyed it. I thought it was a very good first sequel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, definitely, like, I, I personally was really happy to watch it. And I, I was kind of surprised I found it on Netflix. I'm like, oh, okay. So, yeah, so anyway, getting back to the stars, so... We were going to watch a trailer, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, hold on, I'm letting this ad play. All day, um, day. Yeah, I'm all really set. So... Yeah, um... I don't even know the plot for this. I just all. know it's a Christmas movie. He, it's a so, Christmas movie? Yeah, it's called The Star, and the preview picture has a reindeer, so... It's so what? weird how, what? like... That makes me think of, like, little baby Jesus. <laughs> well, let's see, like... Because, like, it's... the whole story with, like, the star and, the, like, the three wise men, they follow it and mm -hmm. all that. But yeah, we'll have to see if that's what it's about. Um, it's so weird I'm, how I'm like I'm going to be really weirded out if that's what it's about. Cause mm -hmm. That's just kind of awkward. I'm sorry. I don't mean to like bash any religion or anything. It's not necessarily that. It's just kind of like, wait, wait. This this kind of film is getting getting released in theaters. Like For I'm kids? not getting a yeah. I mean, well, religion is a touchy oh, subject, but no. yeah, but let's, I don't think that's what it's about from what I, I, little I, I've I'm, seen. I, okay. But yeah, yeah I, think it's just I mean, me and my dissociation with Christmas. Mm -hmm. It's just so Honestly. weird how, like, you know, like it's in 2017. Like, what do you get out from it? Mm -hmm. What do you get out from the title of, like, the star? What are we if I had heard about this movie before the emoji movie came out, I would have had probably really? a different time. But it's so weird how in 2017, Sony comes up with three animated movies. Two, one, The Smurfs the Lost Village, which I heard is, it's fine for kids, but it's okay. And then they come up with the Emoji movie, which everybody just trashes. And then, you know, now we're getting the star. I almost wonder if Sony had the power, would they hold back on the star if they could, you know, release it in 2018? Because it sounds like, Something. I mean, I know they can't do that. You know, it's coming out for know. Christmas, so don't they don't. They can't pull it out. This isn't like you know the interview. Really, so uh, I don't know. I really don't. But, I mean, uh, yeah. Let's uh, just um, let's get into the like. You let's know, if we keep bashing it, we're just gonna hate the trailer. So ready? Christmas film. Christmas so, time. So I'll count Happy down. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> three, two, one, go. For centuries, one story has touched the lives of people across the world. This holiday season, you're invited to discover the story of the first Christmas. Oh my Christmas God! From an entirely new it is. perspective. Hang on, Cyrus! Down off! I expected a left turn two deserts ago. <laughs> These wise guys are lost. Oh, no. That's it. I'm fighting through the rains. From the studio that brought you miracles from heaven and clouded with a chance of meatballs. Huh? Oh. No! Stephen Young, Keegan Michael Key, Gina Rodriguez, Zachary Levi, Kelly Clarkson, Patricia Heaton, Kristen Chenoweth, Tyler Perry, Tracy Morgan, and Oprah Winfrey. King Herod is up to something. That's what Christmas means. Mary, you're in danger. You need to listen to what I'm about to say extremely oh, carefully. What? Do you want a belly rub? Oh, oh God, make me stop. You jump out and create a distraction. Hey! 
that you're writing a really oh, no. important I email to a colleague. Just watch. <laughs> Hold on. Or a post on Facebook <laughs> that all your friends will see. Oh my god, is this trailer oh literally making me want to cry? I don't, uh, stop, Chris Stuckman, please don't get mad. But... I don't know if I want to cry from laughter or extreme disappointment. <laughs> <sighs> Thank you, Eric. That's my bro. What the heck? <laughs> I, you didn't really think it was. Oh god! I I didn't. I was hope. Oh my god! I can't. What is this? Part of me just wants to say, Sony, Talking get out of animation. But you know, I don't think Talking that. Talking Doing really oh. dumb jokes about, oh, it's so hard, even though I'm a camel, and this is everyday life. But, but I saw a pigeon's butt. I saw a pigeon's butt. If I was... Why? If I was God, I'd be pissed. <laughs> but it's just like... Did you want to spread the streets? You know... What? Oh dear! After oh, no. coming out of Star Wars, it's like I went from being, you know, uh, excited to now just being like, "What? I just, why? What? Who saw this pitch?" And was like, "Heck yeah, I'm gonna do it!" Like, what part of this pitch is interesting? You know, the way I see the animation world is to get in, you either need to be the best of the best or, and eh, we need some money. Uh, you're decent even though, oh, you make crappy, crappy jokes. Jo get in here, make this movie for us. I'm just like... <sighs> like, no, no, no. It's just like... So that's how you're going to end 2017 Sony animation? You're going to go from making... Bad, like mediocre to trash to just like who's I don't even know what to make of it. It's just oh. this is like, like who made I'm this? The guys sorry. who made North of the North? Like, I'm just I don't even, I don't know. This is like I, something I, I expect. I feel like if I did know, I would lose, I would probably lose at least a little respect for whoever made that. Like, this is or the kind of movie that, like, it. I would expect, um, this is the kind of movie I would expect to come from, like, one of those, like, desperate, like, you know, third-rate animation studios. Like, you would see their DVDs yeah. at the 99 cent store. Yeah, like, but it's those, just, like, like those, those films that are watching off of, like, I see. Like, I don't know. I almost right? feel like crying, but I can't get my tears out. I'm just, like... And, 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 as, and for me, it's like, seeing films like this getting in theaters and then being like a huge fan of horror, and with my favorite franchise having films coming out, be like, you chose this over a good horror movie? Like, what? What? I don't even know what to think. I'm just... Like, <laughs> this is just the perfect example of a movie that gets made because we're Sony Pictures, nobody likes us except for when we make good movies once in a blue moon. We need money here. 
We hope the kids <laughs> like it. I'm just like, <laughs> I don't know why. It's just like, I am, uh, you're sad and I'm sad. And I'm just like, I'm distraught. Me too. And why like, would you make this? Like, why would you make this? Like, as somebody who's it's not so like a super religious face. person, I want to see so like in your face. this is a movie I want <laughs> I want to see happen. You know, okay, maybe this will be like Prince of Egypt, the first Christmas, like telling it in a modern way, but it still works for kids. But it's like when DreamWorks does it, at least you know DreamWorks before um, you know Home and the Boss Baby, you know it works. But this like. I know they want a comedic take so it'll appeal to kids. This is this looks like something like that they have playing in the background Christmas Eve. It's randomly playing on the TV and it just so happens to fit the mood. God, like, it's so freaking I mean... cheesy. It's like beyond this isn't even cheesy. Bad. I know it's so Bad. like it's the most like you know oh how can we make the first story the first story of Christmas like you know appeal to kids oh I know pigeon butts and you know very pigeon lame, butts. like like yeah and and whiny camels whiny camel <laughs> 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 Unclean, to be honest. I'm right there with you. I'm right there with you. <laughs> I mean, no, I mean. Thank you guys. Yes. Thank yes, you guys yeah, for I'm, staying yes. with us. You are the real MVP. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes. Imagine if Steven was with us. Like, he would just be. Oh my gosh, he would have just. He would have just been like, nope, got out of seat and left. Yeah. He would have I mean, just, just left. He's like, I'm not doing this. <laughs> no. He wouldn't even last till the pigeon butt part. Yeah. Like he just see the camel. It's like I'm out. <laughs> yeah. I mean, just no. Uh, I mean, I may look like I'm smiling, but I am just so. No, 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 no. no. This not. Christmas, I'll do be, not. I'll be going to see Star Wars: Last Jedi. I want to see Blade Runner For 2049. Sure. I want to sure. see Steven Spielberg's The Post. But this movie, just, who's gonna like this movie? I mean, like, you know, like, like, I don't think, like, Christians are not gonna like it. It's like, you know, the average moviegoer, like, like, I, I'd I say, oh, the kids. If well, there weren't some religious people that actually found this offensive. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> and I can't blame them. Usually, like, when that kind of controversy, I'm just like, oh, please calm down. But it's just like, no, I totally get no, it if you're upset. Legit. No, like, no, no. You're talking about the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You're going to slip freaking whatever this is. Mm -hmm. right like, oh, God. I mean, this, Why? like, I'm just like, Why? nostalgia critic, get on this and just trash this movie. I mean, just like, I would say, Traffic, oh, this is like, I'm just like, oh, this Traffic. is a movie that, like, little kids will I feel dirty, like, you know, saying that, no, you know? No. It's just like, no, this not is, this, this kind of a why, movie, no. Like, if I recommend to kids, why, I'll just feel dirty. This is why people, people have trouble holding, holding a standard for children's entertainment because of stuff like this. Yeah, I mean... Because yeah, what what more can I just say? This. I mean, just this. Yes. Like, not looking forward to this. Just no, no, not gonna even bother to see if it comes out and it's like if it's just as bad as the Emoji Movie. Yeah. If it's not, I will be greatly surprised. Mm -hmm. I'll be greatly surprised. Just 
I don't know. I'm just thinking. I'm really trying to be as open-minded as I can. I think maybe it'll have a big heart. You know, hey, we thought the Lego movie was stupid, but it, you know that was a ton of fun and it had a heart. No, coming. but they didn't. They didn't go down to this level so off the bat, though. Exactly. I mean, the the yeah, the jokes weren't like all out there, like you know. But 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 there was. It was nice. This isn't nice. No, it's not nice. It's not nice. No. And again, I'm not like a super like, you know, <laughs> religious person. Even I'm saying, what is this? You know? Okay, okay, I'm going to be real. I'm not religious. Like, I I do not identify with any of I feel sorry for the people being represented here. Mhm. Mm I feel sorry exactly. for Exactly. <laughs> Like, I mean, I mean, I grew up in a Catholic home, and you know, we have, my parents have a lot of respect for that kind of stuff, you know. So I'm like, okay, you know, I can respect that. This, this is not worthy of respect. No, 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 no. no. Like, no. It's like. It's Sony yet again. It seems like they're doing yet another cash in, but the source material is, you know, like this isn't just like a studio trip up. This is like, you know, a studio car crash kind of a trailer, you know. Oh yeah. Like this for somebody to go for a pitch like this, I feel like they would have to be extremely desperate. Or or did this, whoever pitched, did they at least feel at least some pressure, especially nowadays? Possibly? Someone somewhere in the whole process of coming up with this film had to be some sort of desperation. Otherwise, I cannot explain this. No, me neither. I, I mean... Can't. I've honestly, this is probably the angriest I've been, like, doing one of these trailer <laughs> reactions. So, I don't know uh, what else. Just... I, I can't. I'm sorry. It's, yeah, this sorry. <laughs> I gotta go, though. All right. I'm sorry. Kind All right. of got bombarded here. Understood. But... All right. See ya. Thanks for coming on, Gabby. Oh, All right. Thank you for having me. I love you. Bye. Bye. Mm -hmm.